So hey you guys, this is Glamour Zante and I'm back with another video. And today's video is gonna be my relax and unwind routine. I actually stayed in New Orleans this past weekend and I had a couple different hotels, but I decided to relax and unwind in one of them. So starting off, here we go. So first things first, I put my do not disturb on my door because I don't want anybody disturbing me or bothering me while I am about to relax and unwind. And you guys know I'm pretty much always in a good mood. So I always come in dancing and being real crazy. So next, you guys know it's Black Girl Magic over here, of course. So I'm just going to brush my hair, get that all out my face because, number one, I am long hair, don't care. But when it's time for me to relax, all that stuff got to come off and all that stuff got to come up. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like having that feeling of hair and everything. I like to feel more like lightweight. You guys know I got to protect the lace. So, of course, I'm going to make sure I tie down my lace and I'm going to put some things over it just to make sure when I'm washing my face and doing other things, everything is really out my way. And then next will be my makeup removal. These are my makeup wipes that I like to use. I'm pretty much going to do this. This is the beginning process of me pretty much unwinding, taking my makeup off and making sure I'm getting my face clear to cleanse it. And I normally only need one makeup wipe, not unless I do a real full beat and have to go crazy on it. And then this is my oil-free acne wash. This helps me to keep my face really, really clear. And I also have all these products linked below. You guys have seen my skin improve so much. It never was horrible, but it actually just seems like it just continues to keep getting better. So with this, I'm actually gonna wash my face and I do use cool water with doing that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pat dry my face because you know, I'm about to go into my next processing step. And then y'all look how clear my face is. Oh my God, I'm so proud of it. And then next, for me to really feel like I'm fresh and clean, I have to brush my teeth. I do brush my teeth in the morning and night. It's pretty crazy because a lot of people don't, but child, I have to get all that gunk and stuff off my teeth. I hate like that film like from food all day. So yes, brushing my teeth is very essential and I love to use my little travel size ones because that just saves me space. And then next, I wanna go ahead and take a tub bath. So I do request for the housekeepers to come and clean the tub so that I can physically see it because I feel like most time they don't. And then of course I love to use a bath bomb. This one actually has rose petals in it. And something about me with hotels is I love to use their body wash products. I do bring my own, but this one is actually mandarin and citrus. So I was like, let me go ahead and try it out. So yes, that is something I do. And honey, if it's a travel size one, I'm gonna pack it up and take it with me if I actually like it. And then I also want to light a candle. This is a passion fruit soy candle. They are way more healthier than regular candles. So definitely get on top of that if you guys haven't. And I love to set the mood with music. I love music. It makes me just feel so free and feel so light and airy. And honestly, I can get lost in my problems and not think about them with music. And my favorite to listen to is Bobby Nasega. He has plenty of playlists on his YouTube channel. He actually has chill ones, study ones, um, playlist for when you're with your person, all types of different ones. So this is a Bobby Nasega stand house and y'all should definitely check him out. So next it's time to get my energy right in this room, clear everything out and make sure I'm good. This is my Palo Santos wood as well as my sage bundle. And these are definitely essentials for getting rid of any negative energy and cleansing the area. Um, Palo Santos wood, if you guys didn't know, is really good for like spiritual purifying as well as energy cleansing and help to bring a deeper connection to the divine. So it's really an uplifting scent and it's really good for like meditation as well as physical healing just by breathing in the wood it can help create a calmer more tranquil space intentions about what you want to clear out of your space so with me being in a hotel and so many different people it's really good for me to have that because i don't know what energy has been in here lately and then next on to one of my favorites it is sage this sage bundle actually has lavender wrapped around it and sage is really good also for cleansing energy it brings you closer to mindfulness and mindful meditation can actually change your brain and help you handle stress a lot more better so with burning sage it's putting you in a relaxed space lavender is a herb that has a lot of healing properties of calming and soothing energy with aromatherapy so the smell alone can chill you out and help you to relax a lot more and especially with the scent it has a grounding effect so with me relaxing and unwinding this is more essential for me to just kind of tap in I do this at home quite often as well 
Now, I want to talk a little bit more on feminine care, especially since that has a lot to do with stress. Nutriblast actually is a really good feminine products line that carries a lot of products that deal with things such as odor, itchiness, BV, and yeast infections that you can cure from home without antibiotics. So I've been using Nutriblast for a while. You guys know I talked about it in previous videos as well. So the first product I want to tell you guys about is Borg Life. Borg Life does not require prescription at all. It helps reduce BV, yeast infections, intimate odor, dryness, and itchiness in seven days. And it can be used at the first sign of symptoms to minimize infections. It also is really, really gentle. So it can be used regularly by women who experience reoccurring infections, odor, and discomfort. And to actually insert these in, you will be using the suppositories. These are really good to pretty much help you to get easy access into your JJ and get it in direct contact. Also with these products, make sure you read the descriptions and the bio because you want to make sure that you're inserting them vaginally if they have to be put in that way or through your mouth directly, but different products have different descriptions and rules. So just make sure you read really careful before using any of these. This product is the Balance Chill Panty Liner. Um, it's 100% certified organic cotton top sheet. It helps with reducing odor as well as discharge and spotting in your underwear. And it's really lightweight and clear so you guys can wear this on a regular basis, not only after your period. These are the Nutriblast pH strips. The first thing you should do when you see a sign of infection or odor or itch is to test the vagina with the pH strips. Now, infection can be present. This will let you know. So it has a scale of basically letting you know if it's a healthy vagina or if it's needing some type of additional care. So you just take the strips out of the wrap and then you pull it and then you swab it with your vagina and then you see what the strip color goes to. And, and this can save you a trip to the doctors as well as a lot of money on pH lab tests. If you're interested in any of these products, you can click the link in the bio to get 20% off your first order. So this is my cryo rubber mask that I like to use and it has collagen that you put on before you actually put the mask. But sometimes if my face feels like it doesn't really need the collagen at that point in time, I'll just put the rubber on my actual face because it has a lot of cooling properties in it. Um, I really enjoy this mask and it makes my skin feel a lot more healthy. But you guys, I see I'm such a joke. I Every time I put this mask on, I laugh and I go through this whole motion of feeling like I look crazy as hell. So <laughs> I do this every single time. So this is my Ancestor Says book. It's 300 365 affirmations really positive ones um, normally you can read these early in the morning or at nighttime it just depends on when you feel more comfortable to do it and also I got a couple other books that I like to redirect my energy and just not take things personal and just educate myself a lot more on how to be positive and just move through this world a lot more effectively um, also I love to light incense my favorite is the Nag Shamba one and this is the one I lighted with this um, but it's just such a cooling I love it it just smokes out the room it smells really good and ashes everything out and it feels really really positive positive. and with me now I'm just gonna light down a lot of my affirmations or things that I want to change in my life and just energies and things I want to bring towards me that I feel like I haven't been able to manifest lately I just love writing stuff down me and a peeper me and a piece of paper and a pencil I like to do that so much more than digitally because I feel like it's helping me to set my intentions a lot more so these are things that pretty much relax me and then another thing I love to do is also pray I didn't insert that clip in but I do like to pray just to ground myself and make sure I'm being more positive so amongst all the things I've done throughout this whole routine these are like my favorite parts just because at this point I'm creating the life I want and making that life my own so I definitely think think y'all should do those things and put these in a part of your routines as well because it has helped to change my life and make me a lot more positive and realizing that anything I want I can have and I do do a little bit of tarot not on other people but I do do it on myself so sometimes I like to pull a card to see where my energy is and I only do a card if I feel like it resonates with me and I shuffle them around and most time they just pop out and then I take those messages and look them up and see what they mean to me and this one I pulled the world card and the empress card so I went and looked up the definition of that and I was thoroughly pleased because I felt like it resonated with me so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next one. Mwah. See ya.